you've got a kayak, a paddleboard, or even a canoe, you might have to pay for state registration starting next year. Here at 6 o'clock, 24 Hour News 8's Sarah Hurwitz is live in Grand Rapids with a look at where this process stands with the Michigan State Waterways Commission. Sarah? Well, good evening. Right now, that advisory committee is trying to gain enough support and momentum in order for the state legislature to review it. This is all an issue, really, of keeping track of kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards that are seeing an increasing number of those out on the water. During the spring and summer, Michigan is all about water sports, and you're probably seeing more of these out on the water. And due to the high use of kayaks and paddle boards, safety issues have come up. There's an influx of people out in kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards. And according to the Michigan State Waterways Commission, which serves as an advisory committee to the DNR, the rate of participation in paddle sports is increasing by 7% each year, with more than 600,000 paddle craft operating in Michigan. Ronald Olson is the chief of Parks and Recreation for the DNR. He says the commission drafted this resolution to keep better track of lost vessels. Some people that have tried to venture out on the Great Lakes, for example, and they've tipped over and there's no evidence of whose boat or craft it is. There's also been during storms, sometimes the kayaks blow offshore and they drift around and people don't know if they, where they came from. Registering paddle craft, the Michigan State Waterways Commission says, would help eliminate that problem. It could be up to $10 per kayak, canoe, or paddle board. And there's a question at this point of whether it'd be renewed every year two or three years and the money would go towards things like infrastructure for boat launches which could also help provide fully accessible ramps for kayaks the commission has also held meetings with paddle enthusiasts to explain what this may look like and have gotten mixed feedback there's been people that say uh, i have a bunch of kayaks and i think that this would not be a good thing and why are you doing this? I don't see the benefit. There's other people that say, now that I understand what you're doing, I would gladly pay, provided that the money would go to the things you said. And while this is still very much in the early stages, if you do want a way of tracking your kayak, canoe, or paddleboard, the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office does offer a sticker that you can place on your kayak or any other uh, device that you have, and you can put your name and your contact information on that in case it gets lost. Live here in Grand Rapids tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.